Hey guys, this is Lake, and today I'll be showing you how to connect your device to AmchristView.com and how to view live stream. Once you're logged in, you'll notice the main interface screen. This screen it defaults to is the device screen. Here's where you'll be able to add and view your cameras. We will start by adding a camera. To the right you will see the add camera button. We will press this and you will see a pop-up window appear. The first box to fill in will be the device name to which you will name your camera. It can be any name, an example front door, back door, entry, patio, etc. The next will be your camera's serial number or SN. You will find this either by looking on the bottom of your camera where you'll see the SN or by getting it off of the Amcrest View mobile app by looking at the device manager and tapping the modify pen tool. Next we will fill in the device username which from the factory will be admin. Lastly will be the password which also from the factory will be admin. Once you fill in this information the camera will be successfully added to your device listing. From here you will see a couple of options. We will start off with the pen tool which is the modify tool. Once you click this it will give you the same options as you just filled out to add the camera. This can come in handy if you were to move the camera to a different location and wanted to rename it or change the username and password. Once we close out of the pop-up window, we'll look at the X to the right of the Modify tool. This X will delete your camera from your account. Once pressed, it will ask you, are you sure you want to delete this device? You can either click Yes if you want to delete your device or click Cancel to exit the operation. Next, we will move left to the green dot or orange dot. This will signify whether your device is properly connected. If it is green, you are connected and ready to go. If the indicator is orange, this means it is either not connected to the internet or some of the login information is incorrect. Make sure to check that your username and password are correct. Now onto the blue eye icon. This icon is what you'll use to view your camera feeds, live view, and operate your camera. When you click on this icon, a separate window should pop up and bring up your camera's live feed. Reminder, make sure you enable pop-ups for this website. You can do this by going into your web browser settings and clicking Disable Pop-Up Blocker for this site. Once the pop-up window comes up, it will be on the Live View screen. On this screen, as you can see, there are a lot of options. I'll start with the far top right button labeled IPC or IP Camera. This is how to turn the feed on and off. Once you click on this icon, the video feed will pop up. If you look a little to the right on the same icon, you'll see an S indicating that it's showing what is known as Substream. This means it's not the full quality image. This helps if you don't want to slow down your bandwidth or slow down your internet connection. Once this icon is clicked again, you'll see an M. This is for mainstream. This is better quality video feed. Here you'll notice that the kbps or kilobits per second have increased when M is selected. By clicking on the little blue rectangle button joined onto the left of the IPC button, this will turn the video feed off. Now we will move left to the X on the left of the blue rectangle, which will also turn the video feed off. Now to the left of this is the microphone button. When you press this, it will activate the talk through feature. For this feature, you don't have to have the button held down, it just has to be pressed and then you'll be able to speak through the microphone in your computer. Next is the audio button. This will toggle the microphone on the camera, allowing for you to hear what is happening where the camera is located. Now we will move on to the camera icon. This will snap a screenshot of what is on the screen when you click it. The next icon is the video capture mode. This button will record a video to your computer for a maximum of 5 minutes. The last icon on the top is the select range button. This button allows you to click and drag on the screen on a certain area to zoom in. Now to the pan and tilt controller. This will allow you to pan and tilt your camera up and down and side to side. The speed slider underneath it will make the pan and tilt go either faster or slower. Now to the iris. Iris either opens or closes down your aperture. The zoom allows you to zoom in or out. Reminder, this is a digital zoom, meaning that it will degrade the video resolution the more you zoom in. Next is focus. It will allow you to focus in on something close 
or focus on something that's farther away. Now on the bottom of the page, you'll see a variety of different window layouts. You can choose from a singular window, or from a 4, 6, 8, 9, 16, 25, 36, or 64 window layout. And the option to change the viewing ratio to 16 to 9, as well as go to full screen. That is all for this video. Please check out our other AmcrestView.com videos, AmcrestView.com Sign Up and Activation, and AmcrestView.com Video Playback Walkthrough. Again, my name is Lake, and I hope you have a great day.